everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be showing you my fake tanning routine. So I'm sure most of you will know that I am an absolute fake tan addict and I have tried so many different brands of fake tan and I feel like now I have got the hang of how to do my own fake tan at home and have it looking pretty good. So today I thought I would film my entire fake tanning routine. So to warn you it is split over two days. I I used to just fake, like put literally a layer of fake tan on and then wash it off and that was it. But over the last sort of year or so, I really feel like I've refined a technique that works for me and it is a two day process. So I am going to break down in this video how I do it. So the fake tan which I use, I'm gonna talk a little bit about now. It's the Isle of Paradise and this is in the shade dark and it's called the Glow Clear self tanning mousse and it's vegan friendly, cruelty free and it's organic. Um, and as you can see here, it's a clear formula. They come, they do quite a few different products. Now I heard about this originally through my best friend because she said it was so good and she liked that it was cruelty free, it was vegan and it was organic so it, it didn't have as much nastiness in it as maybe some other brands. So yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about that. It's only, I'm sure, you can get it from uh, Superdrug or you can get it from Boots or anywhere like that. It's, it is in mainstream stores now. And I'm sure it's only about 15 pounds. I think I even picked mine up for like 13, 14 pounds. It's really like quite inexpensive in comparison to lots of other brands. Like I have spent so much money on tans over the years that this for me is like it's amazing that it works so well that it's so affordable. So I've also filmed me actually fake tanning so I will include those clips in this video over the top of this video so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So if you want to see how to get my fake tan or know how to do my fake tanning routine then just keep on watching. So as I said before, my fake tanning routine is spread over two days. So it starts the day before I'm actually going to fake tan. And that is with exfoliating my entire body. So I will jump in the shower and I will use a product which is foamy. In this video, I am using the Rituals Sensational Foaming Shower Gel. And I'm just popping this all over. And then I'm using the Skinny Tan uh, Exfoliating Mitt. And I am literally using circular motions and just gradually removing any fake tan which is already left on my skin. Obviously, I tend to fake tan weekly or every two weeks. So uh, it's really important that I'm exfoliating and making sure as much of the residual tan from the last time I tanned is gone. That This is really the key. If you're a regular fake tanner, removing as much of your old tan as possible is going to give you the absolute best results. One thing I always say to my clients or to any of my friends is don't tan over old tan. It will just, it's just not a good look and maybe it'll, it'll be okay the first couple of times but after a while it's just going to go patchy, it's going to wear off patchy, it's just not going to look nice. So this for me is like the most key process in process in the whole of my fake tanning routine. Uh, but if you're not somebody who fake tans regularly, exfoliating is still really important. Make sure you focus on your areas where the tan is going to more likely stick to. So that's knees, ankles, wrists. For me, I get a little bit of sticking around where my bra straps are. I think it's just because maybe it's a little bit dry around there. So make sure to focus on those areas. This is also the point in which I will shave anywhere that I want to shave. <laughs> so for me, I like to make sure my legs are shaved and just that everything is ready and prepped for fake tan. I think the other key when it comes to fake tanning is once you have tanned, try not to then shave your legs after you've tanned because obviously when you shave, you are removing the top layer of skin. So to, to make sure you do all your shaving before you want to fake tan to get the absolute best results and that are going to last a lot longer because you'll notice that once you start shaving over the top of your fake tan it will cause it to fade a little bit. So this is what my skin looks like once I've exfoliated and I've got no tan left on my body and then once I'm dry I will get ready to moisturise so I'll just pop my hair up. The moisturiser which I'm using today is the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair moisturizer and I will literally put this over my entire body and I'll be quite generous with it because you really, the thing about fake tan is it will dehydrate your skin. Like that's just the nature of fake tan. There's, I don't think there's any fake tans that don't do that. So this process for me is like just lathering myself in moisturizer and then I will sleep in it and then hopefully my skin in the morning will be a lot more moisturized and kind of withstand the tanning process a little bit better. It's just gonna give us better results. So we then go on to day two of my fake tanning routine and once I have woken up 
and I've showered again, I will only moisturize those areas which the tan is likely to really stick to. So that for me is my hands, my wrists, my feet, uh, my feet and ankles, my knees, and also my elbows. And then I will also pop a little bit where my bra straps go as well, just to prevent any sort of building up around that area. So once the moisturizer is dry, it's then time to apply the fake tan. And as I said at the beginning, the fake tan which I use is the Isle of Paradise in the shade Dark. And then using any tanning mitt, I will literally put about two or three pumps onto the mitt, and then I will start rubbing it into the skin. Now, the one thing you probably will have noticed about this formula is that it's clear. It's got absolutely no guard color, which is great because it means it doesn't come off on your bed sheets, it's not gonna rub off on your clothes, there is absolutely zero transfer, but obviously the side effect of that is that you can't actually see where you're putting the fake tan. So my tip for you really is to like look at where the product is wet on your skin and just really try to rub it in as best you can. I haven't had any problems with this product being streaky at all because it's not got a guard color, um, but I am really quite thorough with it and I will really make sure every inch of me is covered. So that's really the only thing you need to sort of keep an eye on when you're using this tan. So I will literally pop it all over and then for my hands and my feet, I like to get a more natural, less full coverage finish on them. So it looks not like I've got orange hands and feet, which can sometimes happen, but I try my best to avoid it. <laughs> and to do this, I use a big bronzer brush and I get this from Primark, I think they're like two pounds and I will literally just pop a little bit of the product onto the brush and then I will brush that over my hands and feet and this just gives you a slightly more faded effect on the skin rather than going in with uh, quite heavy hand with the mitt. And then to make sure that I have got no orange palms, I'll just take a baby wipe and I will literally remove any product that's maybe sat on my palms and then I'll also go over my nails as well just so none of that is discoloured. To then get the absolute deepest, darkest, most golden tan, I will leave the product on overnight. Uh, because of the nature of the product, obviously there's no uh, transfer onto your bed sheet. So for me, I do just find it easier just to sleep in it and wash it off the next day. However, if you're not wanting to sleep in it, I'd usually recommend about five to six hours keeping the tan on and then washing it off. After that five or six hours, you will not get the appearance of what the tan's gonna look like once it's fully developed. It won't be until you go to bed that night and you wake up the next day, then the tan will have the full color. It takes, I mean, with, with fake tans, it usually says that it can take up to 12 hours. Sometimes it takes a lot longer than that for tan to actually develop. So all I would say is after six hours, if you're still thinking like, oh, I don't look the color I wanna look. Go to bed, wake up the next day, and you will just have the most beautiful, golden, rich tan. And this is what it looks like, basically, after I have slept in it and woken up the next day, washed it off, and I just absolutely love the color of this tan. This is not like any other tan color <laughs> I've used before. There's something about it which just is really natural, but it's still really warm. I just love it, I think it's such a beautiful color. and. The other thing I really like about this is other tans have made my skin horrendously dry. Tans do make, like, do dry your skin out anyway. This doesn't seem to do it quite as badly as, as other brands which I've used, um, which is another reason I really love it. Another thing I will sometimes do if I really wanna sort of amplify my look or if I've got my legs out, I'll get a little bit of either, it's like an oil, like a body oil or bio oil, baby oil, something like that, and I will just moisturize it into my skin, particularly on my legs because it just, I don't know, it just gives this beautiful effect on the skin. Like once it's sunken in, it just looks really healthy and glowy. I also like doing that on my decolletage. I don't know, that's just like a little thing which I like doing. And that is my finished tanning routine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it a little bit helpful. As always, any video suggestions whatsoever, please just leave in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.